So, at my work, I'm really lucky that I get to work in such a beautiful area here in Thailand. But today was an even luckier day because one of the workers here called me out and said, da ngu ngu ngu, which means snake here in Thai. And uh, whew, what a snake it is. We've got in here uh, a beautiful monocled cobra and in Thailand they call them ngu hao. It's a snake that barks. Uh, actually, this one's a very well-mannered snake. Now, I had to catch it because here there's still a lot of misunderstanding and myth around snakes and that is that many times if you see a snake the best thing to do is just kill it just to be safe. Thankfully for this guy uh, I was around and I was able to catch it and and now we're going to relocate it. Now when we relocate snakes it's very 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 important to not move them too far and that's something that I often don't tell people because if I was to tell them that I'm releasing the snake 500 meters away not many people are happy about that but here are the stats, here are the statistics. The studies out there show that if you have a snake on your land, you catch a snake on your land, and you move it further than a certain mile away, kilometer away, the likelihood of that snake surviving drops dramatically the further it is from its home. So you've got to imagine that the snake will have their own sort of area. I wouldn't say their home, but they've got a rough ranging area. So this snake, has probably lived in this area its whole life. It doesn't know anywhere else. Here, it knows where the holes are to hide, it knows where the best food is, it knows where to stay when it's safe. Releasing it here is the best place. And as long as if I don't tell anybody where I'm releasing it, no one's the wiser, and the statistics show they will probably never, ever see this snake again. So that's why we've chosen to release it so close to where it was found. So the monocled cobra is an extremely venomous snake here in Thailand, but it's also one of the most polite snakes. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. A snake that's polite. They're so polite, in fact, that they'll give you warning after warning after warning. And you're going to see it in a minute that the first thing she'll do is either hood up or try and move away. They really don't want to be around people and the fact that they're moving away or trying to move away and the fact that they're raising the hood is just them saying, look, leave me alone. I don't want to be here. I don't want to interfere with you and you don't want to interfere with me. Here in Thailand, snake is quite the delicacy and if I hadn't have caught this one, there's a good chance that it would have been ended up on the barbecue. In fact, one of the workers here did ask me if that's what I was going to do. Uh, I said no. So we're going to get this one out now. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit her first because she's a very beautiful snake and then we're going to let her back into her home. I say her, it's hard to tell. However, she is a big girl. So snakes, generally speaking, will get bigger if they're girls. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? So there's the neck, there's that famous neck posture. But look, the first thing she does, she just wants to get away. In fact, I probably could just let her get away. Let's get the camera to go with her. Whoa, there she is. There she is. What a beautiful snake she is. But look again, she's always backing down. She's just trying to get away always going backwards. Look at that. She's not going forward. She's not attacking. All she wants to do is get away. Now you tell me, is that an animal that's out to get me? And out to kill everybody it meets? No. This is an animal that just wants to get away. But watch what happens if I 
stop moving and just let her go. Look what happens. I'm going to kneel down. Beautiful. Just watch. You stay out of the way of people, okay, mate? Where she goes. See you later, darling. Wow, amazing. I'm so, so happy that I could show you that. So she's just been led off down there. And importantly, she's going in the opposite direction to people, which is wonderful to see. I am absolutely stoked because they are one of my favorite animals around, but I'm even more stoked because I got to show you guys the true nature of a cobra. It's not an animal that's just going to be attacking and biting for no reason. That snake had plenty of opportunities to come at me. We were sitting within a meter of each other for five minutes and not once did she show aggression to me, not once. All she was doing was standing her ground, making sure that I wasn't a threat anymore. And as soon as she realized I wasn't a threat, that's when she moved off on her own accord. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we can live next to wildlife, is by learning a little bit about them, learning a bit of information about them and knowing their behavior. It's my job, it's my passion to show you the real nature, the true nature of snakes. Not the Hollywood versions of fangs this big and biting everybody they see. It's just not the case. For me, that is the true cobra that you just saw there. A snake that just wants to be left alone, that's giving you so many warnings. And if you listen to those warnings, nothing happens. And she goes off to live her life happily. Can't get better than that. Brilliant. Good luck, girl.